kids, Miss Kulkarni here. Let's talk about kinetics and reaction equilibrium in this video. So let's begin. In this first slide, we have a diagram which we call as energy diagram. On y-axis we have energy and on x-axis we have reaction progress. Just take a good close look at the graph. This looks like a hike on a mountain. We begin with reactants and we end up to the product side. We can explain this process using a theory which is called as collision theory. And what does the theory mean? Every substance is composed of particles. And according to this theory, we can explain that molecules are colliding. So what is the first concept? Molecules must collide. The next point is to reach the mountain top. And that means the molecules must have enough energy. So that is the second important point. The third thing is the molecules when they are colliding, they should have correct right orientation otherwise the impact will not be proper and we will not be able to deliver more energy now there are two different terms activation energy and activated complex how do we explain that using the graph the activated complex is a state which we call as transition state it's a temporary state and that's what we get on the top of the mountain a complex formed over here okay then every time when reactants have to go reach to the mountain top they have to take a hike they have to climb through this much distance and that distance through which they climb is called as the activation energy let's draw an energy diagram here is energy for reactants given energy for activation given and delta H is given. So if I want to have a quick diagram for that, let's take some scale. If it says 50, 100, 150 and 200. Your reactants are beginning at 100. So that's the beginning for, for reactants. Energy for activation is 50. That means from 100, we need to go to 50 above the starting point. So reactants are going to go to that point at 50 kilojoules above 100 and then delta H is given negative 50. What is delta H? That is equal to delta H for products minus delta H for reactants. If it's negative, that means it is an exothermic reaction and that means the product must be lower than reactants and how much lower? 50 kilojoules lower so this is 100 the products must be over here and that actually shows you the diagram energy diagram for this particular situation so how do we answer all these remaining questions question number one is what is the potential energy of the products that is the energy which products can have in normal state and that is equal to 50 kilo joule what is the potential energy of the activated complex that comes 50 kilo joule above the beginning point so it is 150 kj or kilo joule and the reaction is it endo or exo we don't even need to draw the diagram if you look at the negative sign for delta h you should know that is an exothermic reaction that was easy right so here is a quick summary of collision theory. In order for a reaction to take place, molecules must collide. Second thing, molecules must have enough energy. And third thing, must take place in correct orientation. 